Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new Warzone mobile video and in today's video we're going to be ranking all of the assault rifles inside of Warzone mobile and uh, there's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 total assault rifles we'll be ranking from S through D and seeing where they fall on uh, within the tier list and I am using the tier maker website uh, to uh, go ahead and do this tier list for you guys and uh, you know this is just something that I really wanted to do and rank the guns because I feel like you know now that season four has hit us inside of Warzone Mobile we can go ahead and sort of rank the weapon so let's go ahead and get started so we want to talk about the STB 556 uh, the STB 556 is a really great mid-range uh, AR it's uh, actually also really good for uh, long ranges around the 15 to 20 ish meter mark. Um, one thing that I think is really unique about this assault rifle is that it comes with a built in grip, which is also really cool, which saves you an attachment. And um, I don't necessarily really like the iron sight on it per se. I would highly recommend putting on a, 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 you know, a red dot sight attachment on it just to give you a better field of view when you do want to progress in those long range gunfights. But in terms of a medium range AR, and also, uh, as it stands of it being a ground loot weapon in the game, if you just pick it up from the ground, um, honestly, early game, as an early game weapon throughout the game, this is a really good gun. So with all that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and place this at the A tier uh, for right now. I don't think it's S, but it's definitely up there in terms of a really, really valid um, AR. And I think it's definitely one of the best, uh, you know, you can, you know, you can do within that, um, you know, tier. So. Moving on to the second AR, we do have the cast off 70 for you. This gun is a uh, mid-range, close-range specialty, right? So very similar to the uh, to the STB 556, but doesn't really have that long-range um, extension to it. You can't really challenge people from longer ranges with this. Um, I do like the iron sight. I think the iron sight's really good. Uh, you can equip a 45 round magazine on it, um, and it's honestly a really fast mobility weapon uh, for an AR. Um, you know, it's lightweight. It's not going to, you know, cause you to be slow, you know, when you're trying to move around Verdansk and, you know, peak corners and things of that nature. But other than that, of just being a close range AR um, a medium range AR, it's pretty good. But I wouldn't put it in the A tier. I think I would probably put this under the STB um, in B tier. I think B tier is a fair evaluation for where the weapon stands as of right now due to the fact that, you know, like I said, this is not a weapon that you would personally use towards the middle or end game because uh, there's going to be other guns on this list that are going to do way more and provide way more utility uh, when it gets to those later stages of the game and what you're going to be able to need to do. And so I think for a ground loot weapon, it's just below the STB. Um, obviously, early game, if you pick it up, you know, you land at a hot drop location, you're the first one to find an AR and you pick this up off the ground, you're going to be able to beam kids from the very beginning. So, you know, other than that, it's pretty good. Um, the Lockman 556. This third AR on this list is absolutely phenomenal. This is such an underrated weapon. Um, and you know, you have the ability to kind of make it into a, an LMG type of AR. So this thing is phenomenal long range, phenomenal medium range, phenomenally close range, and it's it has such a fast fire rate to it. It's almost like an SMG um with how fast the fire rate is on this gun and what's really unique about this gun is that you can actually put a 60 round magazine on it which i highly recommend a lot of people do when you when you do build out this gun uh long term so like i said the like this thing like this ttk the time to kill on this thing is absolutely phenomenal i really like it for all those and because it does all three well th does well in all three of those categories right when it comes to close long and medium like it's a phenomenal gun and uh, honestly it's 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 definitely a very very good ar so what i'm going to go ahead and do is place this uh above uh the stb let's go ahead and switch these around so i have the lockman 556 above the stb uh due to the fact that the lockman 556 is definitely the superior assault rifle within this category and it definitely deserves the a spot uh moving on to my absolute favorite the fourth weapon on this list the fourth assault rifle on this list it's going to be the tac 56 uh, I'm really biased when it comes with the TAC-U56 due to the fact that it's my favorite gun in the game. Um, and I, th the nature of it being why is because it has very low recoil. I mean, this thing has so like little recoil on it that it's so easy to control. Uh, your output ability to you know put a lot of damage into your opponents is so good that at the end of the day, you're going to be a problem with this gun. 
uh, especially if you're me, right? Like if you know how to use this gun to the for, uh, to the full extent, I highly recommend it. I mean, and and one of the key things about an AR like this that's really good, uh, you know, far range, long range, medium range, and this gun excels in the extended long range combats within the 35, 40, 50 meter range, uh, due to the fact that you can equip a you know a tundra barrel extending the damage range of bullet velocity and putting on silencers as well to help extend that lethal uh, targality to it. And as well as just having the, one of the best and cleanest iron sights in the game. And due to the fact that you can actually save an attachment and do not need to put a red dot on this gun is absolutely phenomenal. And for that reason alone, and because of how easy the weapon is to use, we're going to put it in S tier. I mean, absolutely put this in S tier. I mean, this thing deserves to be in S tier due to the fact of how easy it is to use and how phenomenally it does uh, within all those three categories of range um, combined with, you know, the iron sight being one of the most flawless and cleanest iron sights in the game and just having that ability to challenge people at any range you want. And so this would be sort of like a mid to late game gun. You know, this is one of a, you know, this is a gun that you would use in your class setup. This is something that you would want to use, um, you know, towards the later stages of the game because it's going to provide you a lot of value uh, when, you know, trying to take on a full squad. Moving on to the Chimera. Uh, the Chimera, otherwise known as the Honey Badger, which is going to be the, uh, you know, fifth AR on this list. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal close range. I think it's the best close range AR. It's like in that sort of, you know, uh, event horizon between, you know, what's considered an SMG and what's considered an AR, right? So I think when we talk about a really, really close range, high damage AR, uh, this is the gun you're going to want to use. This gun is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's just... Uh, it's crazy. I think, you know, it's not really ideal uh, to use this gun uh, based on the meta that we currently see in Warzone Mobile because a lot of people like to, you know, take hide advantage, you know, really engage in those long range gunfights. So it's going to be really hard for you to close the gap with an assault rifle like this. However, if you're really good at maneuvering through the map, really good at playing corners, really good at playing through buildings, this gun is going to do you so much uh, you know, work for you, and it's going to provide so much value because, like I said, you pair this up with some of the overpressure target flinch rounds on any of these assault rifles, you're going to be able to just make your opponents flinch so much. Um, one downside, obviously, is because it's super close range, it doesn't do well far range. Medium range, you can kind of push the limits with this gun if you kind of build it in that way, but I highly don't recommend you do that because then you're just going to ruin the overall utility and mobility it provides you to be able to move fast. So, with that being said, but one of the good thing about this gun is that uh, it does come with a silencer, built-in silencer. So it's automatically a, a silenced gun from the very start when you do want to build out the gun. Um, the iron sights are not really that good, but if you can get used to them, you know it's still a, you know a positive for you. You can save two attachment slots. Uh, but other than that, pretty good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the A tier as well, just because it's the best close range AR in the game, and it's gonna be slightly ahead of uh, the STB in this category as well. So I think you know putting it there, in my opinion, is really good. The, it's not S tier due to the fact that, like I said, if it, if it had that long range capacity, you know, then we can sort of discuss that. But, you know, for right now, A tier is going to have to do it justice. Uh, moving on to the sixth weapon on this list, the M13B. Um, the M13B is phenomenal. Uh, it's another one of those close range ARs uh, with a really fast fire rate. But the, the one thing special about it is that it has that medium range extensive capacity that the Chimera doesn't. And you can actually test and push its limits when it comes to those long range gunfights, right? So, you know, I've used, you know, this gun many times. I like it. I think it's really good. The one thing you have to keep note of is with these fast firing weapons, right? You want to put on the highest extended rounds possible because, you know, when you're shooting really rapidly with these guns, you know, eventually you're going to waste a lot of ammo. And due to the fact that you have to get through three plates per player if you're going against, four, you know, a squad, right? Like, you know, three times four, that's 12 plates. So, you know, downing somebody and finishing them and, you know, getting that full thirst on people is going to be really difficult with these kind of ARs due to the fact that you're going to be constantly reloading. So you're going to really want to be able to put on an extended mag, put a silencer on these guns. And with the M13B, because it it's sort of like the buffed version of the Chimera, giving you that ability to challenge medium to long, but not that extensive long range capability like the TAC-Q56, I would definitely uh, put this gun in A2. Um, and I will put this above the Chimera because it's really good. Um, but like I said, the Chimera is a close second to the M13B within the A category, and I think it deserves to be in this list uh, for sure. So, I mean, other, other than that, I think the M13B is phenomenal, and um, 
but it falls right behind the Lockman 556 because the Lockman 556 and, and, you know, with, with the way that this is going with how we're building our two list, it's just that much of a superior gun in the current meta. And so, like I said, I don't see a lot of people using the M13B, but, uh, you know, like I said, you put on a red dot sight because the iron sights are not really good. If you want to challenge long range, got to equip an extended mag, like just like for all the other guns. So, you know, like I said, I think a tier does it justice as well. So moving on to the seventh weapon on this list. Um, the M4 is, in my opinion, um, you know, it's a default weapon. It's a starter weapon that everyone starts off with learning in the game. You know, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I think a lot of people, you know, love this gun. I actually like this gun. I think it's pretty good. Um, I think it's honestly a really, really good weapon uh, due to the fact that it's, um, you know, like I said, it just, you know, it's a, one of those early game ground loot weapons, right, that provides a lot of value in the early to sort of, early mid right that almost peaking mid game stage of the game where if you still have the m4 and you have a lot of attachments on it you'll be able to do a lot of work fast fire rate uh recoil control is you know pretty good it's just vertical so if you're able to control that's good you can challenge medium long range close range you can kind of go into that extensive long range capacity if you do tailor it in that way but in terms of it being just a ground loot weapon that it is because you know let's face it you're not going to be using the m4 um, you know, late game. Cause like I said, there's a lot of other ARs still left that we can evaluate, uh, to really, you know, like I said, move it to the top. So for the M4, it's not quite going into the A tier for me. I think it's going to go above the cast off seven for you. I think we're going to put that above. I think it's going to be in the top of B tier due to the fact that it's better than the cast off, right? It, it's a ground loot weapon that if you pick it up early, it's going to provide you a lot of value. You're going to be able to put a lot of work in, but it doesn't make it into the A tier because the STB 556 is technically better than the than the M4, right? It still provides a lot of value there. So for those reasons, I think you know to be you know to do this, uh, you know fairly, I think we're going to put the M4 just above the cast off due to the fact that it's a little bit of a better ground wheel weapon, but it falls in between the STB being at the top and uh, the cast off 74U at the bottom. So the M4, like I said, it's not really in the meta. People don't really use it, you know, late game. So for those reasons, I think the B, the top of B tier does it justice. Uh, moving on to the cast off 7.62. Um, I think this gun is, it's all right. It's an all right a AR. It's an AR that's really designed to really, uh, you know, go up against the extensive long range capacities, long range. It's not a gun that does really good medium or close range because it doesn't have that fire rate. Uh, you know, like the Lockman, like the M13B, like the Chimera to really do what it needs to do close range. So if you're taking close range fights with this gun, it's not really going to do you a whole lot of justice. You want to stay back, position yourself far away um, and sort of take on those engagements from, you know, that type of, uh, you know, metric. So from, you know, the extensive meters. Um, and the iron sights are clean, but obviously if you want to challenge, right, since this gun is designed to do long range, you know, gunfights, you're going to want to put a sight on it um and put on an extended mag because like i said even though it you know its fire rate is kind of in the middle of the pack it's not really that fast but it's still pretty quick uh but you know other than that i think you know you should be able to you know like i said do, do some work in the long range but i think what i'm going to go ahead and do is put this in the uh b tier i'm going to put it slightly uh below the m4 due to the fact that like I said, like the M4 is just a little bit faster and because it has that ability to do much more than the cast off provides cast off 762 doesn't really do a whole lot for me personally. I've only used the AR a couple of times and I'm not really a huge fan of it, but I think it's definitely better, uh, you know, and it's definitely, you know, lethal enough to be in that B tier category alongside the cast off and the M4. But I think overall, you know, like I said, this is, this is where it lies in, in this list. And so, like I said, it's not, it's not really, a, it's not really an impactful AR, but it's definitely better than the C tier, uh, weapon. So yeah, moving on uh, to the M16, uh, the M16 is, uh, the most terrible AR in the game. I mean, there's no doubt about it. The M16 truly is a terrible AR. Um, and due to the fact for one reason and one reason alone, it's a burst weapon. Nobody likes using burst weapons, the semi-auto, not a fan. So honestly, it's going to go into the D tier. There's no reason to elaborate more on that. Nobody uses this in the meta. I've made probably one video on the gun, and I can tell you right now, it's not worth you using. It's not going to provide you any value. So therefore, it belongs in D tier. Moving on towards the ISO Hemlock. We all know where this weapon belongs. It's going to go into the S tier. 
right above the TAC P56 because it has better damage, better a little bit of a better range, and it has that really nice capability for outplay to it. And a lot of people, you know, I watch a lot of other content creators right now in Warzone Mobile. There's a lot of other players who stream as well. And what they're using, they're using the ISO Hemlock. They're pairing that up with a really good support SMG, right? With some of the Deadeye perks that people are using with the overkill advantage. Um, the ISO Hemlock is really good uh, for, you know, like I said, that medium to long range, that extensive long range combat. The close range, it does fairly well too. Um, but the thing is about it is that it really excels in those longer range, you know, output engagements. The one thing I will say about it is that its magazine size, it's kind of meh. Uh, but due to the fact that it has really the most superior damage out of any AR in the game uh, is the reason why it's up top. And plus, since the fire rate is a little bit slower than some of the guns, and I'd say it's a little bit probably slower than the TAC-56, but it's it's manageable, right, ammunition. Like, it's, a, it's an AR that is providing a lot of damage output to conserve a lot of ammo usage. So, at the end of the day, it's good to throw in that extended mag, giving you that 15 extra bullets, making the gun silenced and uh, putting on the overpressure rounds. One thing about this gun that's a huge negative is the iron sight. Uh, you're definitely going to want to put a red dot on it due to the fact that it's not going to really do you any justice using an iron sight trying to challenge people at the 30, 35 range meter uh, mark. So definitely recommend it. But right now, everyone's using the ISO hemlock in the meta in terms of you know their primary weapon. So I got to give it justice there. Uh, so cast off 545, um, you know, it's uh you know it's the it's the cousin or you know the sister of the cast off 762 and it's basically a worse version of that gun and so honestly i'm not really a huge fan of it like i said the iron sights are very similar between cast off 762 and the you know the cast off 545 there's nothing to it the cast off 545 is a little bit worse in terms of its damage output its range is not really all that there it's more of a you know medium range ar in general and so for those reasons i think you know like i said uh not really good Nobody uses it. It's more of a ground loot weapon, but it's one of the worst ground loot weapons you can pick up. It's definitely better than the M16, though, due to the fact that it's an automatic weapon. So for those reasons, we're going to put that in the C tier. And uh, yeah, so, you know, like I said, we have 11 guns ranked um, within this list. I think this is a very, very fair list, a very generous list uh, to put all these weapons in these rank categories. I think sort of my, uh, you know, reasoning behind justifying these placements are pretty valid, I feel like. And, uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, like I said, guys, I had a lot of fun making this video. Like I said, you know, if you guys have definitely made it this far towards the end of the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, this has been your boy Vader, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Peace.